Okay, and so this is the sling that I have for lifting barrels vertically. Unfortunately, this one says made in China, well, or China anyways, on the master ring, but uh, I would assume that that means that the entirety of this is made in China, which kind of sucks. Um, not, you know, and I got this from my local rigging shop as well, too, though it doesn't have his tag on it for whatever reason, but you can see working limit, uh, 2000 pounds and, uh, all rigging shit has a safety factor. Um, sometimes it's three to one, sometimes it's four to one. I've even seen five to one. Um, so if this one's, you know, rated for 2000 pounds, um, all being well and that there's no damage to it, it shouldn't break until at least 3000 pounds or, um, 6,000 pounds. I mean, but, uh, yeah, so this one is cool because the, um, the, uh, the cable can adjust to different size barrels. So the diameter of the barrel, um, doesn't have to be precise or anything like that. And, uh, that's all this is, is just a length of cable, um, on these aluminum blocks here. And then they crimp on the ends here and, uh, show this real quick because again this is something that I wish I had seen oh shit need to come down a little bit So just flop the ends over like that. <laughs> and then I like to bring the cable up to the top. Not that it probably makes too much of a difference, but. And like so. And then uh, the chain that I have for my backhoe and for the engine hoist here, I've got um, a, a bearing swivel hook. And so the cool thing about that is that it very effortlessly spins, which is great if you're trying to position it. You know, it's it takes no effort whatsoever to uh, position it in, in whichever way you want, which for something round like this, obviously doesn't really matter. But, uh, you know, if you're putting an engine in a pickup or something like that, it's pretty handy not to have to fight it. But as with anything, there's, you know, trade-offs cause, um, I actually, with, uh, uh, with my engine hoist here, I painted this, uh, like 300 gallon, um, tank and, uh, just the air coming out of the paint gun would actually cause the tank to rotate, which on one hand was kind of annoying, but it was also kind of cool because you could like, you know, spin the tank with the gun and then kind of go around and um, get all the different spots on it. You didn't have to touch the tank uh, with the wet paint on it to be able to spin it. But yeah, so, um, you know, this one obviously works out fantastic for picking up a barrel uh, vertically and it's, um, shorter vertically too than the other one. Um, but yeah, just two different slings for two different purposes. And, um, I feel like there was something else I was going to say, but, uh, don't know what it is at the moment. So there she is.